Hey guys, Luke back with another video. This one's going to be all about all side quests in Act 1. I ran a poll on my community, and they asked for this one with full dialogue, so I won't be skipping any dialogue. And I won't be showing each and every single possible dialogue choice. That would just take ages. So I'm just going to show you the most interesting ones, at least in my opinion. And with that said, this is also not going to show any companion quests because they are not side quests. So if you came here looking for that, I'm sorry. And with that said, if you like it, leave it a like. Consider subscribing for more guides to come. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first side quest I'm going to show you is Free Lizelle. And it's probably one you'll do either way, but it is technically a side quest. And it's just right here where you first start the game near the roadside cliffs. Just right here. And I'll go ahead and talk to him. You think it's dangerous? Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. I'm gonna do persuasion. He's right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. Not even us. Damaze! Enough. Lower the trap. Ready your blade. You've but one chance. Join me or die. And now attack the tieflings, so I'm going to, but you don't have to. This gives you an inspirational no. event for Asterion, you so that's why I'm doing it. Rat. And it's also just free XP. And there's the quest the complete. Hasn't yet free Lizo. All your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gate tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. All right, and that's the quest complete. Next up is the Explore the Ruins side quest. And if you want to do this one, you'll need to head near the roadside cliffs right after you saved Lizelle. And then you'll speak to the bandits that are in this area. You! Not another step, hear me? Boss! Got company up here! What's this then? Trying to creep around us and loot the crypt? Not happening. Or is it the ship you're after? Don't matter either way. It's ours. All of it. I'm going to use... Persuasion. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it. And now that they're out of here, we can make our way down into the crypt. You can optionally break, let me zoom out a little bit, this thing right here, and it'll knock this hole open. That's an option. Or you can come back here and lockpick this door or interact with it. Thank you, Triple Book. Everything all right out there? Then you can pass a deception or performance check. Oh, I told it it wasn't safe out there. Get inside and I'll rustle up some bandages. 
and that will be a free inspirational event for Asteria in there. And now we can make our way inside and fight the bandits, and I'll go ahead and teleport to after that. And then once you're down inside of the ruins, and you've killed all the bandits inside, you can head to the back room with the statue. And in the back, you'll pass a perception check for a lever. And that will open this door right here. And then once you're inside of here, you can go over here. We need to get a key out of the sarcophagus right here. This is a trapped room, so... I'm going to go ahead and just put my guys out here and then grab the key and get out. And now that we have the key, we can open the heavy oak doors. For a tip, if you want to, you can loot all These the zombies in the armed. area, because they are going oh, to attack us, and then that Jericho will take away their weapons. Scribe of the dead. I didn't think anyone still worshipped him. Go ahead and hit the button. And then once all the skeletons are dead, you can come back in here. There'll be a heavy chest right here with an amulet in it. It's pretty nice to have. And then you can go ahead and open the sarcophagus. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Curiosity. Nothing more. Wilt thou answer my question? So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? In death, that is so. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. And that is the side quest complete. The next side quest you're going to come across is called Save the Refugees, and you'll find it right before you enter the Druid Grove, here after the roadside cliffs. Once you come up here, you're going to do a cut scene, and I'll go ahead and let you watch it. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! The nine hells! Open the gates!
damnable roach. Provoke the blade. And suffer its sting. And now you can go ahead and, and finish the goblins off. And I'll skip past that. That was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! And now that they're defeated, I'm gonna head to the gate and go inside. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too! Unbelievable! He's right. We should scrum while we can. Right. Lead the goblins here, then leave the rest of us to fight them off. You coward! What's it gonna take to shut you up, Horns? The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. Go ahead and try to pass the persuasion check. It's a pretty hard one. It's a 15 DC. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. And now we can go ahead and talk to Zevlor. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you. For your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Well met. I should warn you. Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though... I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Let's not forget why we're here. No point in wasting precious time on a lost cause. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please. Make them see sense before more lives are lost. All right, now we can go down and talk to Kaga. And you can do that just by going around and going down over this way. You can lock the camera so you guys can see it. Just go down and go into this door, and I'll meet you there. On your way down to Kaga, you're going to run into a group of people, and they're going to give you another side quest called Save Arabella. My daughter, go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn! And you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back! Ugh! Let me through, Mradrashem, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Alright, now we can go ahead and talk to Komira. We need to get Arabella out! Now! You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Sounds like she made the fatal mistake of getting caught. We shouldn't get involved. 
Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. All right. Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You get back. Druid or not, you're still an outsider to this place. Entry is forbidden. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. And now we can go in and talk to Kaga. And she will be harassing Arabella and threatening to kill her. So we need to stop that from happening. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. A death viper. You have milked that poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. The Tree Father's words... Your circle taught well. You know, then, that Sylvanas spoke further. The parasite must be removed for new seed to grow. Yet behold, the parasite lives. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. Go ahead and try to persuade them to not kill her. I'm going to go ahead and save just in case it doesn't work. But it should. I hear the Tree Father's spirit in your words. It is as you say. Sivisif, Tila to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. It hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin will... Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. And now we can speak to Kaga to complete the Save the Refugees quest. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? I know your kind from other circles. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. The rite of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. Past teachings come into focus. A rite of thorns is a rare practice, outlawed in most circles, for causing more harm than it eases. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. A disease of the flower must not reach the root. Pluck the petals, sever the branch if you must, but cut out the rot before it infects the whole of the wood. Teachings of the Tree Father. 
Do you agree? Then you know I heed his wisdom. I protect the circle, whatever the cost. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. You consider the right of thorns, a rare art plucked from illicit domains. When the prayer ends, vines curl upwards from the earth, and thorns sprout forth. Those within are isolated, and those without, rejected. Isolation breeds violence. Few circles survive it. There is more to Korga's tale. The Grove must hide her secrets. And then after talking to Kaga, you can head back over this way, and we need to investigate her. Just back in this way. And then back here will be Kaga's chest. You'll need to lockpick it. And then you can read this note. And that will basically say that she's working with the Shadow Druids. And now we can go turn in save Arabella back at Comira. Oh no. And I'll go ahead and skip over I there. Hate. You ever scare me like that again and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. I did, but I was robbed. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Marry. All we can offer is our thanks. Arabella? Thank you. For helping me. And that will give you Kamira's locket. And now we're going to go back to Zevlor. Over here. And talk to him. And now that I'm back at Zevlor, I'm going to go ahead and talk to him. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here? Or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. If Nettie can't help you, you'll need to go to Baldur's Gate. And you'll face the same threats as us along the way. Kill the goblins, and you'll clear the way for yourself as well. Please, tell me you will. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. All right, and now to do the next two parts, investigate Kaga and defeat the goblins. We need to go later yes. on in the game and of course. near the Blighted Village and then also in the Goblin Camp. So can't do that right now because I haven't unlocked those areas. And I'll go ahead and add them later on in the video. And I'll have the timestamp named the same. That way you guys can navigate it. And then directly after talking to Zevlar, 
here in the Druid Grove. We can speak to Aridin and pick up the Night Song quest, the beginning of it. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. Half my crew are full of holes. Now I'm gonna take the blame for leading the goblins here and losing track of the bloody druid. They chased us all the way from the ruins we were poking around in. Aye, his name's Halcyn. And if he's still alive, he'll be cursing the day he laid eyes on me. We've got a contract to track down some relic and he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. <laughs> Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. Alright, and for the next part of this quest, we'll have to go over to the goblin camp. And I will be doing that later. So we can skip Every ahead in the timestamp if you want to see the next part. Age. Alright, and now we're going to do the quest for Steal the Idol. And to do this one, you can just head to the Emerald Grove. And we're going to speak to this kid named Donnie right here. I'm going to do it as a Starion because he gets a rogue advantage check. Hmm. He stares right past you as if you're invisible. Or boring. Mm -hmm. mm. He's still staring right past you. Turn around. You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. You find the edges of a concealed entrance. And now we can go down in and talk to Mole. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. You saved Arabella from the druids. Don't know what those bastards would have done. And we're happy to be helped. Now, what can I do for you? Making sure we're ready to leave when the time comes. I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. You saw what those bastards that run the place were doing to Arabella, scaring the precious might. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's gotta be worth a small fortune. Sure. When we sell it in the city, I'll make sure you get your cut. Be careful. They look as brittle as old bark. But they're vicious. Anything else? You've been a friend to us. Come back anytime. Alright, now I'm going to head back to the Emerald Grove Center and steal the idol. And now that I'm back at the center of the Emerald Grove, I'm just going to steal the idol here. And I'm just going to use a darkness arrow to do that. Once I steal it, I'm going to teleport out to the waypoint. That way the idol isn't seen as stolen, so that way they don't just begin killing all the tieflings. And then I'm going to walk back in and turn it in. And now that I'm back at Mole, I'm going to turn it in. I had a feeling you'd be back. Thanks. See you in Baldur's Gate, I hope. Now scram. Before I get emotional. And that will give you the Ring of Protection.
Next up we have Investigate the Beach, and to do this quest, you head to the top right of the Emerald Grove, and then go right to here. Shh. Listen. Your favorite drownings will take place in shallow water. Just a slice of the ankle tendons. Don't you hear it? It's so peaceful. No, no, it's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. Just a little closer. Everything's gonna be fine once I get there. All right, and go ahead and defeat the harpies. Uh, are they gone? No. Yes. I mean, I don't know. That's what the voice said. I almost got to the nest, but the singing. I need to get back. Mole will be so mad. Wait, um, you should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. All right, now we can go back up and talk to Donny. I had a feeling you'd be back. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. Anyway, you want to talk? Talk. You've been a friend to us. Come back anytime. That's the quest complete. Next up is Save the Goblin Saza, and if you want to do this one, go to the top of the Emerald Grove, up this way. And then I recommend bringing, like, invisibility to turn her invisible. And I'm going to do Long Strider as well to make her faster, but you need to escort her out, and you'll be stopped by a bunch of people. You will have to pass a series of checks if they stop you. You ain't going to shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him, too! You! Move! <sighs> You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Your soft heart will be the death of us. You'd better be right. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. All right, and then now you can rescue her by waiting for them to leave and then lockpicking this gate. A long way from Waterdeep. Now I'm going to use the invisibility on Saza after I speak to her. Why'd you open my cage? Think we're going to be friends? Too late for that, Wargmy. My tribe's coming. They're going to burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. Goddess, we're burning her name across the face of the world we are. The absolute is gold from the sky, she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. Well, 
Well, maybe she sent you to help me. And you will, if you want to save your skin. Help me escape, and I'll tell my mates to leave you alone. What do you say? We have a deal? It's a deal, and she will give you access to the goblin camp. It. My tribe ain't as friendly as I am. Happily, lead the way. And now you'll need to escort her away. And I'm just going to do like I said earlier, and do long strider. And then see invisibility. And then we can just walk out. And now we have her escorted to safety. She Tell should chat so. with us. When you say we might once we get over this way. At your crash. What does that mean exactly? Augusto will affix the safe disk. Ah, thought I was never gonna get out of there. Good to be free again, gotta say. Never break a promise, unless there's something in it for me. I'll introduce you to my whole tribe and put in a good word for you. See you at the camp. All right, and now we can go ahead and continue. I'm going to go to the goblin camp much later in the video, so skip to the next timestamp. Next up, we have the rescue the gnome side quest. And to do this one, go to Blighted Village. And then right over here will be a windmill with a gnome attached to it, unfortunately. And go ahead and persuade these goblins into releasing him. Look what we got here. Another little birdie wanting to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Cause it makes me laugh. <laughs> Release the gnome. You want this little cave lurking what's it? Find your own. He's ours! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Go ahead and do whichever one you want. Whichever one helps you pass. I... Yes. Whatever you want. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. The goblin's nostrils flare nervously. All of his bluster seems to vanish. We're leaving. What about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to... I said we're leaving! Uh, apologies, sir. We didn't mean to doubt a true soul. We'll be off. All right, and now you can go release him. All you have to do to release them is hit this button right here. And that will stop the windmill. Cut me loose! Oh, bag of Kabara. There's pustulant thugs! Well... Get on with it. You saved me, now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. 
It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully, I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. All right, and that's the quest complete. Next up, I'm going to show you how to do the search the seller side quest so you can get Quasi the summon as well as the Forbidden Knowledge permanent buff that gives you plus one to wisdom saving throws and ability checks. And if you want to do this one, you can come to Blighted Village and then enter the Apothecary building. Go ahead and open this hatch. You can move these crates to the side and then pull the lever. And then we need to loot a casket up ahead to get Quasit. He's a little demon. Go ahead and use his scroll. Recognize the tiny fiend, a quasit. Wicked creatures often used as familiars. Wait, you're not Illy. The blacksmith, the teacher, the grocer, the baker, little piggies to the butcher. So, you're Shovel's master now. Fine. calls me shovel. Don't like it? Change it. So, what first, Master? Gutting locals? Raising the dead? Making them walk? Making them scream? Yes! Master is fun. More fun than Illy. Illy's so busy. Only cares about the book. Book this, book that. Oh! Oh, oh, Master should go see. Talk to the mirror, and remember, balsam, good for burns. All right, now we have Quasit, or Shovel, the Quasit, rather. And you can summon him anytime you want now. And then go ahead and talk to this mirror. Speak your name. I do not know this name. If you are known to my master, step forward and declare yourself an ally. Only a true ally of Illentoth may pass. What think you of the Zolkir known as Zastan? The next set of answers require specific ones to pass, so I will tell you them. Pick two. You are no Zolkir. But are you wise? Tell me, why might one use balsam ointment? To clean a wound? Acceptable, finally. If you could see anything in me, what would it be? To cure myself? You seek to survive. You seek power. Welcome. All right, and now that we are inside, we can go over to here and read the book on the table. And then go ahead and disarm this trap and open this door. Looks like I forgot Estarian outside, so I'll have to use Will here. Actually, I'll just use myself. Can't keep me out. Don't mind taking a little bit of damage. Go ahead and pick up the book over here. It does set off these gargoyles. But I don't really care that much. 
come out here and then read the book. No time to rest. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. You can sense something dark about this tome. Something profane. A cursed book. How obvious. Whoever opens it deserves the fate that befalls them. We surely shouldn't leave such a threat out, where anyone could stumble across it. All right, and then you can destroy the tome by using radiant damage or holy damage. And the next part of the quest is in a different area, so I'm going to go ahead and teleport over that way. And to continue the unlock the ancient tome quest, you'll need to come to the blighted village and then go down this well right here. Apart from an overgrowth of moss, the well looks unremarkable. The coin disappears into the well. After a moment, you hear a soft clink, not a splash. Giant webs. They'll alert their spinners with a mirror. All right, touch. and now we are in a new underground cave-like area. And then we need to progress through the cave, and there will be a big boss spider. And then we'll be able to get an unusual gem in here as well for our book. For the next part, you'll need to progress your way through the spider area to where you get to the left side where you see the big phase spider matriarch boss. And then you'll need to loot this dark amethyst gem down here. You see it right here. And then defeat the boss fight if you want to. I don't even think you actually have to fight it. You can just go sneak and take it if you'd like to. But I'm going to fight it. The trick to the boss fight is to disable its eggs because it will hatch them mid-fight. And there's another group of eggs over this way. And now I'll go ahead and skip to the next part. And now that the spider boss is defeated, you can go ahead and loot the gem right here, the Dark Amethyst. And then you'll put it in your book. Make sure the character you want the buff for is the one you have that opens the book. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. You can sense something dark about this tome. Something profane. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? Irresistible. You feel changed, bettered for having opened it. Suddenly you are capable of anything. Filling mountains, darkening suns, conversing with the dead. Glyphs shift gently before your eyes. Words slip into your mind, onto your lips, forming words you don't understand. And something is trying to reply. Then you'll have to pass a series of saving throws. Wisdom. The symbols dart beneath your eyes, warping and twisting. Your head throbs, but you almost understand. is gone. You can only see those glyphs, only hear those voices. You feel 
claws moving in the shadows. They pull at you, dragging you closer. This one's a 20 DC. So you might have to use inspiration for this one. The glyphs scream, branding your mind with strange runes. You see time rewritten, fate undone. Your future thrumming with power. You struggle to cling to scraps of what you know. Powerful necromancy, you're sure. But it darts away, leaving only hell's screams. The book snaps closed. You've seen too much. What profane knowledge is now seared inside of you, you should never have known. And that's how you get the Forbidden Knowledge buff and complete the quest for unlocking the Ancient Tome. Next up is Finish the Masterwork Weapon. And if you want to start this one, you can head over to the Blighted Village. And then go to this building and go right here. And in the corner, you'll see a journal right here. And that's how you start it. Then make your way over this way. And you can break these webs and jump down in, or you can grab this key, which I believe is the key to the door below me right here. But I'm just going to go through here. And now we can jump down in. Be careful. There are traps. Go ahead and disarm this chest. And then inside it, you'll find the blueprints right here. Weapon and then it'll say you need to find the susser bark, which is down in the underdark. And I'm not going to the underdark the until I finish completing the, the entire top side map. So that will be later on in the video. You can just skip to the next timestamp. To start, find the missing shipment. You'll head up to the blighted village and then go north up this way. And then there will be a Something lot of hyenas right here, just go ahead and talk people. to them. They didn't st the creature's eyes roll back in its head, equal parts bliss and agony. Her awful smell irresistible. And while her blood feast has filled her, the hyena is not yet sated. Come, see, my flesh becomes new flesh. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You engrave her pained mules upon your heart. Her back arches impossibly. A grace made possible only by it being broken. bones snap as the hyena is hollowed from the inside out, forming a vessel of something new. Her belly splits like a rotten fruit, birthing a frenzy of claws and fangs. of life reared from the miracle of death. A tear almost springs to your eye. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and fight the hyenas and then we can head north and continue up this way. There is a side entrance over here that you can do a back door on them. That way you don't have to run into the knolls up front. And that's what I'm going to do. Figured I'd tell you guys real quick. deal with them knolls. None of us are getting out of here alive. F 
fine. Money's useless to dead men. There. You are fairly bought and paid for. Let's take them. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and fight the, the gnolls outside here. And then once they're defeated, so you can go talk in. to Rugen. Oh, well, he went down the ladder. Thank the gods that's over. Wish you'd been with us when the beasts attacked on the road. Might have been more survivors. I don't suppose you saw any of my crew alive out there. This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Knolls, goblins, drow. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Joaquin's Rest. It's just up the road. I'd be enjoying a mug of ale right now if those beasts hadn't jumped us. Listen, you look like you know how to handle yourself. You should meet my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. Tell the fellow on the door. Little serpent, long shadow. He'll take good care of you. Shame we lost so many agents. But the chest is all that matters. Zaris would have our hides if we lost it. Black hand be thanked. I didn't think anyone would find us. We'll take the chest back to the hideout. I owe you a drink. Lots of drinks. Since when does a mule know what it carries? All right, and now you can take the chest to the Xantrum hideout in Joaquin's Rest, and I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that. And I'd also like to give you a warning that if you open it, you will get locked out of a vendor that has a ton of rare items on them. So if you want those rare items, don't open this chest, but if you do open it, there's a beholder and a bottle, and you can throw the bottle and release the beholder. So that's up to you what choice you want to make. The next side quest is Hunt the Devil, and if you want to start this one, you can come over to where I am now, under the Risen Roadway point, above the Bladed Village. And then you'll come inside of this building right here. And you'll speak to this guy. Who, who's there? Please, keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. A devil. The most deadly foe we've yet encountered. We are Paladins of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being, straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. One horn? Then you mean Karlak, Archdevil's bootlicker. You know her, which means you know what the Fiend is capable of. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the Absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. This is the Sword of Justice, blessed by Tyr. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have, but it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head, and Tyr will consider her crimes repaid. May the just God guide you. All right, and for the next part, we need to head down over this way. You can easily just walk down over. I'll go ahead and teleport. And you should probably have Will with you, because they have, like, special dialogue with each other. Uh, 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 
one horn, the stink of Avernus, Advocatus Diaboli. <laughs> Well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers. But I... Ugh! A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hills. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils. Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it, anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Now you'll have to make a choice between having her killed or not. And she does become a companion for your group. So you can make whatever choice you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and protect her. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. Listen to sense now. I don't want this to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there, but devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tear, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. Fuck yes! They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Then we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by their short hairs. Sound good? Sounds great. I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. Uh, hang on, though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? All right. You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. It means that a reckoning's coming. 
and I'll be the one to pay up. Ugh, gods, what now? Do you have a tax collector on your tail? You're closer than you think. One night soon, when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. You're not in any danger, I promise. I can't say the same about me. And I went ahead and went back to camp and got Carlock so we could bring her along to confront the paladins. He brought her here. We won't survive another assault. Leave us in peace, and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please, we just want to go home. The Archduchess will be delighted when we return with Karlak's head on a pike. Huh. I never was good at playing the coward. There is no beast here or in the hells I fear. Not with her ladyship's protection. Least of all, this dog. You'd do well to reconsider your alliance with this animal. She destroys all she touches. Useful in the blood war, frighteningly dangerous anywhere else. Rage all you want, Karlak. Burn with the might of the hells. Zariel will find you. She will bring you home in pieces. And your little friends will have to watch. Unless we feed you their eyeballs first. The furnace was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and kill these guys. Go back. I'm never going back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Zariel's gotta stop fucking with me, you know? I'm done with it. I'm done with her. I'm free! One bad day. Alright, and that should be the quest complete. Yep, you can see it right here. Hunt the devil, completed. And now we can go over towards the Joaquin's Rest area and do a quest over there. And now we can continue and do Joaquin's Rest. There are a few quests you can do here. The first one is Rescue the Trapped Man, and the other one is Rescue the Grand Duke, which goes into Act 3. And then the other thing is that you can go down into the Xantrum hideout and do a couple quests there, but I'll go on to that later. Let's go ahead and do Rescue the Trapped Man and Rescue the Grand Duke. He of the unsleeping eyes, grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please, just leave me be. I hear shouting. Someone needs help. Keep pushing! Duke Raven Guard could be inside. On count of three. One, two. Raven Guard? He's here. Yes. Now make yourself useful. Push, damn it, push! Inside! Hurry! We don't have much time! Alright, and the first one we're gonna do is rescue the Grand Duke. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do Rescue the Trapped Man real quick. 
Opening it could spell trouble. Here, I'm gonna use my strength character to try to help them. Get me out. <coughs> the fire! Hurry! Get this thing off me! Do we get out of here? <coughs> the smoke. I can't see a damn thing. <coughs> right. I'll try to keep up. Go ahead and take your strength character and break this. And then you can take them out this way. should have stayed. You should have been with me. I was in our room. We had a fight. If I just kept my mouth shut about that bloody dowry, she'd still... She'd still be here. It's for a sister's wedding. I made a stupid joke about keeping it. We argued about it for hours. Then she took the dowry and left. She said I'd never see her again. She was right. I'm sorry, Mary. I'm so sorry. Please, just go. I need a moment with her. Oh, All right, now we can go rescue the Grand Duke or do that quest. Go ahead and break this. I'm afraid proper thanks must wait. Uh. Councillor Floric, are you all right? Well, by the main God, what's become of you? A story best left for calmer days. Now breathe deeply. Are you in pain? Scorched throat. A few hairs singed off. Nothing a bit of time and, and fresh air can't cure. Gauntlet, a new duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Report to the Manip and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Councillor. No, it can't be. You mean they've taken my... Yes, Will. The Drow have your father. The circumstance of my birth is no matter of pride for neither me nor my father. But pride is no reason to refuse help to my own flesh and blood. How can we help? Rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. Baldur's Gate needs him now more than ever. Trust us to see it through, Counselor. Isn't it clear? You travel with the Blade of Frontiers. Who might I trust if not a legend? Who might rise to the moment if not Ravenguard's own son? The invisible force holding Baldur's Gate together. Without him, the city's collapse is certain. I fear that may have been the intention of those who abducted him. Thank you. When the Grand Duke returns to the city, he'll hail his only son, a hero. Go. You should pick up the drow trail with ease. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I can. 
Remember, Will, courage is found in the battle against fear, not in the defeat of it. So Father said. I won't soon forget. Fist to work. All right, and then you'll get a quest item. Shit. You can put distance between you and yesterday, but you'll never leave it fully behind. Father's words. Hard to argue with them. Floric spoke true. I'm a Grand Duke's son. Well, he's not just any Grand Duke. He's Alder Ravengard, the most influential duke in the city. Thank you. That means a lot. But I wonder, what makes a duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters. These true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. I know. And you're right. My story is one of two men. The Blade of Frontiers. A man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And Will Ravengard. A memory of a memory. A man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the Blade. Not the shadow he left behind. Alright, and then now we can go over this way and go down into the Xanturm hideout. And then to finish the Rescue the Trapped Man quest this one right here all you have to do is go over to here right near the building you just save the guy in and then pass a perception check on this haystack that'll Very pop nice. out a gilded chest with the dowry and ring and then we can take that back over to ash what's his face <laughs> I found the chest, I think it's yours. I know this doesn't change anything, but it helps. Thank you. I need some time alone with her to say goodbye. And that concludes the quest. Now if you want to continue find the missing shipment and get the next quest, Free the Artist, you can go up to the top left and then go inside of here by moving these crates. You spot a man crouching between the shelves, just as he spots you. Bugger! Oh, hell's orbs! I thought you were flaming fist. Well, down you go then. They'll be on us soon. So if you're looking to trade, you'd best be quick. Entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe. Here's the key. Now we can head on down in. That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly and maybe we'll kill you clean. Then your answer decides his fate, as well as your own. So make it good. That just tells me you've met my people. Not why you're here in their stead. Really? That information would be worth quite a bit to me. If you're telling the truth. We've disarmed the traps, come down! And now we just need to go talk to her. And now we can talk to her. You've already brought me bad news. Tell me you've got something better this time. The Shaba's black bones, you did it! And still sealed. You're a god's damn wonder. Here's your coin. Actual professionals are rare. You ever want more work? 
Come and see me in the gate. Our trader can show you some of our more exotic items now. But don't delay. This place is likely to be rubble soon. Someone kidnapped a duke. Right on our bloody doorstep. The Flaming Fist will need someone to blame. I don't plan on it being us. Alright, and that'll give us the Herald Crossbow. And we can go down and get the Free the Artist quest, as well as check out what new items are in his inventory. Well, don't you cut a fine figure. Want your portrait done? If you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most heroic likeness. Let's say we're his patrons, yeah? Found him wandering the wilds alone. He needs protection. And if his paintings cover our costs, so much the better, eh? Are you looking to buy him? I'm open to offers, mate. Threats, not so much. I doubt you've got that kind of dosh line about. You can either do persuasion and, and or intimidation or pay him. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to persuade him. It's going to be a tough one. Let's go ahead and do everything we can here. There we go. All right. So maybe I was fishing. No fooling you. I'll take him for six hundred. He's all yours. Don't forget to feed him. He bowls something proper. And now we can go ahead and check the extra items all fire and fuel. that he gets in his inventory from turning in the shipment unopened. Alright, back already. And I think that's it. I can't say I've ever been bought before. How much did I fetch? No, don't tell me. There's nothing so depressing as learning one's true value. Well, you should at least know what you've paid for. I am the Oscar Fevras, at your service. A genuine pleasure. I'm in your debt, as is my patron. <clears throat> my betrothed, I should say. Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little, um, falling out. You recall a recent scandal. A patriarch of Baldur's Gate who wished to marry a commoner. I did not run away. A date was never set. There were... complications. Before my fame, my patron, there was a... Uh, another woman. One I planned to spend my life with. But when Lady Janet offered me a future, well... It felt only right to mention my past. Right, but unwise. I was forced to retreat into the countryside to paint and to clear my head. To choose, I suppose. Hmm? Oh, absolutely not. Uh, fame and wealth suit me very well, no doubt. And yet, I think of that first love, and I hesitate. <laughs> Likely I'm going mad. Regardless, we have more immediate concerns. Your reward once I've returned to the city, for one. Say, you... I don't suppose you could spare some coin, could you? Ease the discomforts of the road some... A hero to the hilt. Seek me out in the city. Truly. Beneath my brush, you'll live forever. Until Baldur's Gate, then. Alright, and that's free. The art is done, and you won't see him again till Act 3. Next up, we have Save Marina, and you can begin that one right here, just under the Blighted Village. Just go ahead and approach these people right here. 
transforming into a mind flare. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Stop this. We, we won't ask again. Careful. Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough. Where is she? Bollocks. You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye-bye now. Bloody hells. She just disappeared. Ain't seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hug has Rena. It's our sister, Marina. She's... well... She was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! Are you joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. No way I'm leaving Rena to you. But, Joel... Not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now, come on. All right, now we have the Save My Arena quest. And to continue it, we need to head down into the swamp. So go ahead and make your way down that way. And now that we're down in the swamp area, we can continue investigate Kaga. So go ahead and head down here under the Blighted Village. And come to where these bridges are near the water and go ahead and jump over this way. There will be some enemies here to fight, these mud methods. Go ahead and fight these guys, and I'll see you on the other side. And now that the enemies are defeated, we can go ahead and investigate. There's a lot of uh, slow stuff here, so be ready to walk one mile per hour. Hmm. Must be the tree from the note to Korga. What's that cliff there? And now we can return to Kaga, I believe. Yep, so now you can go ahead and return to Kaga if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and continue the anti-ethyl quest line. And now we can continue trying to rescue Mayrina down here in the swamp and doing anti-ethyl's quest line. So just come on down this way. I'll show it again real quick. By the Riverside Tea House. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. I do like the mouthy ones. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Mayrina. I won't say it again. Keep that hole under your nose shut, or things will get messy. Hag doesn't tell us what to do. What is it? What's going on? Ah! 
That can't be true. Auntie Ethel. They were being rude, and I detest rudeness. You monster! The deal is off! Enough! Away, would you? Blessed silence at last. Some time in the cage should do her good. And you, you'll regret sticking your nose in my business. Right now I got a fighter, and eventually she'll open up a little hole right here, so I'll go ahead and skip to that. You are as thick as they come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Has that Riggler eaten your brain already? Leave. Or you'll end up in tonight's stew. You'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. Ah. Interacting with these things is optional, but I'll go ahead and show you guys. What's that? My sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. What is this place? My darling Madeline. She wished for the mind of a genius, but that silly head crossed me. This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. My dearest Ephraim, he begged me to halt the deadly disease that ravaged him. And you can actually get rid of that petrification. But I don't have a way to do that at don't the moment. Look. Don't! No, no, don't look, mustn't look, mustn't see. I see it, what's to come? Me, dead, dead, flesh rotten, bones shining. No, future, bone splitting. Knife twisting, skull screaming, future! Gods, don't hurt me! Oh, please, 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 please! Monster! Monster! For mind dripping, flesh peeling, my flayer! No, 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 no! I'm sorry! <laughs> no intention of letting that happen. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through, not again. You see the gallery, its walls lined with the hag's victims. Their bodies and minds twisted beyond ruin. Flee, you feel it cry. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for thirty more years, P. 
Pecker. The door stays silent. Its form flickers, and you realize that the door is transparent. You see the hag, eyes bright with glee, as she sets fire to the door. With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. The presence within shrinks, begging you not to run through it. Stop! Please! And now we'll do a fight. And I'll see you on the other side of that. All right, now that we've defeated those enemies and navigated our way through that poisonous area, we can continue on and speak with Ethel. You'll come to my home, interfere in my business, and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair. You petulant bollocks! I'll rip your spine out your asshole! I'll use your blood to spice my stew! I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones! And then I'll bring you back and do it all over again! Stop it! Please! Let me go! Alright. And she'll split up, and you'll need to find which one's the real one. And then send somebody over to hit this control orb. Make sure that when she splits up Mayrina to not kill Mayrina. I'm guessing the one with slightly more health is probably the one that's her. Wait! Oh! Wait just a tick! Killing me is a waste of time. I'll find a way to return. Always have, always will. But it's unpleasant. So how about we be civilized about this, hmm? I have something you want. This happens whenever you get her to low health, by the way. And there's a few things that you can get from this interaction. Mayrina gives you her locket, as well as Bitter Divorce, which, le which lets you have a summon that is a zombie, which is her husband. And then the other thing that you get is a permanent stat increase from Ethel. But she's worthless to you! Don't let her take me! Please! Shut it! You owe me a babe, girl, and I'll take it, whether you like it or not. And I believe you can get both of the things, both the bitter divorce the and, and the permanent I'll give step you up. Power. You want to be stronger, tougher, smarter, done. Anything is possible. Just let me keep the girl and her babe. Please. She's dreaming if she thinks we'd leave Marina here. It's your choice, sweetness. You can do one of these and try to pass it, and I believe that's how you get the both of them. It's a pretty hard DC, as you can see. You greedy little ballocks. Fine. Here. I'll not soon forget this sweetness. You have my word. But the deal. What about my husband? What happens to him? Deal's off, you dumb cow. And you have him to thank for it. Not that it matters. I'll find another just as plump and ripe. I can set up shop elsewhere. People always need lotions and potions. Oh, don't act like you won't miss me. But 
Bye bye, Petal. Alright, now you get to choose between a stat buff. It's all the main stats. So I'm gonna do wisdom. There we go, now I got wisdom. And then to continue the quest, we just head on through here. Or speak to Marina here. So stupid! How could I have trusted her? I almost gave that monster my child! It was part of the deal. For him. My husband. She was going to bring him back. Bring Connor back to life. Connor would have done anything to save me. I had to do the same. I just wanted everything back. Back the way it was. It's my own fault for letting her. Look. I don't like owing people. Here. This socket is worth some coin. Just... look after it. Alright. My husband gave it to me. I should take him home. His coffin is just upstairs. A decent burial is the least I can give him. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else who would have saved me. All right, now we can go down in here and get bitter divorce. Right here on the table. And you can exit right here. There's more loot in there, but I'll loot that later off camera. And I'm gonna come up over here and speak to Mayrina again with Bitter Divorce. Gods! Didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. What? You can! You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! Feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. What have you done to him? He's not a creature. He's my husband. I wanted him back, back the way he was, not this. You bastard! Give him back! I thought you were going to hell! I thought... I thought... Alright, now we have our very own zombie companion that you can summon anytime you want, just like this. And now that we finished the anti-ethyl quest line, I figured it'd be a good time to come back and turn in Confront Kaga. Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlor. 
And if it is? Strangers are the scourge. The right is the remedy. No laws can change that. What? That damn nose of yours has gone poking in our business. Mistress Ollerton, I can explain. Shh, shh. No need. It couldn't be helped. Quagga! What is the meaning of this? You think yourself quite the spy, don't you? Go on, tell him. A shadow druid? Quagga, have you lost your mind? You and Elsin welcome untouchables to your midst. You defile the grove for the sake of harmony. Oladin speaks truth. Who among you disagrees? Who would see this grove in ruin? The choice is made. Koga, burn the tainted away. Start with the snitch. As you say, Oladin. And you can persuade her to side with the Grove and not be a Shadow Druid, or you can fight her and kill her. The choice is yours. But I'm going to go ahead and do the Druid Nature check here. It, it trembles in shame. It knows that in harmony we perish. In shadow we are pure. Kogo's voice breaks and her lips tremble. She heard reason in your words. When... When the darkest hour fell, it was us that brought light. Sylvanas demands we illuminate shadow, not hide within it. How was I so blind? Careful, Koga. The shadows don't forgive. I belong to the shadows no longer. You've no power over me. You would question my power. Mother Earth, hear me. Grant me your wrath. All right, now you can go ahead and defeat these guys. <laughs> You once called me a monster. Seems I've proven you right. Sylvanas bid me to protect my people from harm. Yet I was the one to inflict it. There was but one druid who guarded the circle. Who protected our ways. We are forever in your debt. You burn like fire. You howl like wind. You are Faith Warden. Take our gift and be known. May I not be the last monster you vanquish. When you speak, the circles will listen. Among druids, your words will shine brighter than sun. I endangered a child. I betrayed the Circle's trust. We will stop the right and I will stand trial. My fate lies with Sylvanus. May he have mercy. We will grant them safe harbor until they depart. Meanwhile, help us contend with the goblins. Perhaps we can dissuade them from attacking. It began with a letter. There was no messenger. It simply appeared. Oladin came soon after. An army was coming, she said. 
Goblins, drow, and more still. Legions upon legions. The druids of Cloakwood knew the dangers this would bring. They ordained that all circles cast the right to shelter from the storm. Oladin taught me to harness the Tree Father's power to wall us in. In return... Well, you know the rest. I would turn the grove over to them. I won't forget the wounds I've inflicted. I pray Halcyn returns to heal them in full. All right, and then you'll get the Pale Oak Staff if you're a druid. And that is that quest complete. Not as bad as it could have. Just report back to Zevlor. And now that I'm back at Zevlor, I can go ahead and turn in the quest. Zevlor, by Delt's virtue, the Blade of Frontiers? What's happened, Will? I paid the price of angering the wrong devil. Believe me, I understand better than most. A moment passes as Zevlor contemplates Will's words. He then turns his attentions to you. I'm told the druids have stopped their damn chanting. What happened? Truly, Ilmata's ashes. I never thought she would actually see reason. Thank you. We still have the goblins to contend with, but you've given us time to prepare. I need to ensure my people make the most of it. But here, left over from my soldiering days, it's sparse thanks for what you've done for us, but gods and goblins willing, I won't need it again. If you can clear the road of goblins, as you say, I'll ensure a reward is gathered for you. And that gives us the Hellrider's Pride gloves. And here's the Pale Oak Staff I forgot to show earlier. They can't. And, and. and that is Investigate Kaga complete. And now for this one, we just need to go over to the Goblin Camp. And I'll go ahead and head that way now. And now I'm back over here at the Goblin Camp over this way by the Blighted Village. Come on, I'll tell the guards what's what. And there's Saza, the goblin we rescued. Goblins ahead. Well, look what the rat dragged in. Can it? I know something Ragslin will want to hear. Yeah? What's that? I've been in some druid's grove. This one's spring me. Now move over so I can tell Ragslin myself. Hold on. Where are the raiders? Dead. Every last one. Ragslin's drow friend won't be happy to hear that. She'll be happy enough when I tell her where them lubies is holding up. Let me through. Hold on now. Is it true what Saz says? You helped her escape that grove? Behave yourself. Saz is vouching for you. You mess up, you and Saz will get it. That's enough out of you. Come on, gotta let the drown know where them looters is. We'll be heroes. All right, now we can make our way through. Stop fidgeting. Oh, a stranger in our fair camp. Laugh if you dare, recoil if you must. With fragulous crown and with scepter abraid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblin kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So, raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you collide. I reckon draw Ragslin's the gobbo in charge, the way this one's carrying on. You, move on! Do as she says, now. <clears throat> now, where was I, huh? Wait a tick. That a friend of yours? Oh, certainly not. 
What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying. To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> Uh, uh, draw Ragslin, uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, I am a draw Ragslin. Um, um, Tumptuous, uh, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, um. You broke him. Wait, wait. Uh, draw Ragslin. We play. We uh... come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, look what you've done. Come on! And that's how you start the rescue Volo quest. Just talk to him here in the goblin camp. Right, yes. Long fool me. And now we can make our way into the main building. I'd like to give you some heads up on this quest. Because if you go to over here and then you tell Minthara that you want to side with her and then you betray her. That's all well and good, but then you won't be able to get a unique item. That is a helmet called Wapira's Crown. You have to kill all of the goblin leaders and then refuse a reward, and that's how you'll get the helmet. But if you want to, you can go over here and then side with Minthara and attack the grove. But in doing so, you will be locked out of quests in Act 2 for tieflings and also, I believe you also get locked out of the Grand Duke quest line. This one here. You get locked out of this, and then you also get locked out of having Will as a companion. My people pay a visit in between. Oi! Ain't no party in here! Shay Graw! Olak cleared us. Got a visit for the drow, I do. My ass! What's a true soul want with any mate of yours? Private business, that is. Raiding business. But if anyone wants a piss pot guarded, we'll call. Just get your friend branded proper. Right, Sazza? Got better things to do than... No, you don't. Come on, then. Bloody racket. All right, now we can head on through. They're just having a bit of fun. Aye, so much. Absolute Smells like burnt flesh in here. A scrying eye. <gasps> Best not do anything suspicious while it's watching. Mistress! It's me, your loyal servant, Cesar. I'm back, and I brought a friend. How thoughtful. And where did you find this friend? They was in some rickety druid grove. Mostly full of tieflings, but them intruders you're after were hiding out there. I presume you dealt with my prey and massacred the rest. Ah, oh. well, the thing about that is they sort of massacred us. But this mug helped me to escape. I say we stick a few holes in him. Show how grateful we are. You feel a cold hand caress your mind as the drow appraises you. Oh, dear. Your prisoner is one of the Absolute's favorites, Saza. A true soul. No, a compi. They was in the grove, hanging around with the tieflings. Undercover, no doubt. Carrying out the Absolute's will. Oh, Saza, you have made a grave error. And it will be your last. My spiders are hungry, little one. But before they feast, tell me where that grove is. And I may yet spare your life. It's past the bridge, to the east. Big old gate covered in ivy. Don't hurt me, mistress, please. I will not hurt you. My spiders will have that pleasure. No, I'm mucked up, I'm sorry. But I didn't know who they was. They didn't tell me nothing. I told you, I was trying to follow orders best I could. Silence, wretch. 
And remember, you owe your miserable life to this one. I won't cause any more trouble. I swear it. Through sheer luck, that pathetic worm has brought me the information I need. And it seems that the inhabitants of the Grove trust you. We can use that against them. You have a part to play in this slaughter. Return to the Grove. When my raiding party approaches, throw open the gate and signal me. The fate of the Grove's inhabitants hangs in the balance. Killing the drow here would spare them, but it might be better to face her warband at the Grove itself on familiar ground. On the other hand, participating in the slaughter as she asks may be the perfect way to earn her trust and access to the cult's inner circle. Good. Marshalling the goblins is no simple matter, but my warband will be ready to attack by next light. Once we are in position, we will wait for your signal, and then we will break them all. All right, and that is save the goblins as a complete, and that gives you the assassin's touch dagger. And now we can go ahead and continue rescue Volo, and you can continue that inside the big goblin building right back here don't go bothering my pigeon he's mine keep him safe listen to him coo till I get hungry or some such what's it to ya him nah Then catch one on your own! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. This Ranger better not go yapping about my pigeon. I should have turned him over to Minthora by now. But he's such a nice little pigeon. What? Oh, I ain't. Minthora don't give a cake what you think. Bah, just take him if you care so much. See if he'll sing for the likes of you, though. Bloody think. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. All right, now we can release him. Look at this! I'm quite safe! A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. I intend to do just that. A trusty invisibility potion goes a long way in a place like this. <laughs> we mustn't tarry, but I'd hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Say go to my camp. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! And there he goes. And now he will be in your camp. So we can go ahead and find the quest and see the next part. Return to your camp. We'll go ahead and do that. And now he will basically carve our eye out. Oh, good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flayers, cultists, and of course... Your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Here. 
On the Sword Coast? Impossible. That... that can't be. You're mad! But, tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flayer. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, my dear sweet gods! If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. And that will give you the Blazer of Benevolence. And then I believe, after a while, you can have him carve your eye out, and then he will give you an eye that gives you C invisibility. And then to get him to actually put the invisibility thing in your eye, all you have to do is do another long rest. It's not technically part of the side quest, but I figured I'd include it. Ah, oh, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. I saw you. I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. Vola carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Pain shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have it! The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye, then reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. Volo slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Now, don't move. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then, tap, tap, stab. Do you feel that? Ha! Huh. I think we have the blighter on the run. I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just a little further. Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Threat. He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly. 
as it sinks into the mud. There appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. Fantastic! That squint does wonders for your gravitas, in my humble opinion. Though, um, perhaps there's something we can do. Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was... Very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta! <laughs> and now we have C invisibility. And now that we've saved Saza and spoke to Minthara, you'll have a choice of either killing all the goblin leaders and that will save the grove or you can go ahead and trick Minthara by telling her that you're going to betray them but then actually not betraying them that's what I'm gonna do there's a quest in act 2 that's tied to this so if you kill them you won't wait, get that wait, quest down. gods above we took you for a goblin get up here I want that gate sealed before they arrive and we need to talk Gonna go up and talk to him. Gods above, you're alive. A little light, just as the day seems darkest. I'd given you up for dead at the goblin camp. I'm damn glad to be wrong. But what happened? We've seen the massing in the woods. Truly. Hells, I didn't expect it. We were almost ready to leave. Well, there's nothing for it now. A fight it will have to be. We threw them back once. If you're with us, perhaps we can do it again. Huh. What I have is no choice. We need to thin their numbers quickly if we're to survive. Every ounce of oil that we could spare has been buried out in front of the gate. We'll blow the horn to draw them in, and pray our fire arrows strike true. Your courage is catching, it seems. Or perhaps I've finally lost my reason. Make what preparations you deem necessary, and then sound the horn. Let's have this done. Alright, now to begin the fight, just sound the war horn. This is it. Everything turns on this. Get that damn gate closed! I know that you are all afraid. But I also know that you have been fighting your whole lives. We have never been handed the easy choices or the gentle paths. And this is no different. These creatures would take our lives, our children, our future. And we must resist! 
A splinter of ice works its way into your mind. A pretty speech. It almost brings a tear to my eye. Now slit his throat and open that gate. The Absolute wants all of them dead. Sacred? It is filth. It will burn, and you will burn with it. Alright, and now I'll go ahead and do the battle as usual and skip it. And then once she's dead, you can loot her and get her tadpole and a bunch of items. And then you can go talk to Zevlar. That's... that's the last of them. Timora, smile on me. They're dead. We did it. Watching gods, you did it. They name us outcasts. Hellspawn, foul blood, but the blood of those who fell today ran as pure as any heroes. So I call us by another name. We are survivors. We are family. The road to Baldur's Gate is a long one yet, but you have earned every stride so far. Make your preparations. We leave as soon as we're able. You... I don't know if you were sent here by gods, or fate, or sheer bloody luck. I don't care. You were a friend when we needed it. And we won't forget that. Should you ever need it, you have family in Baldur's Gate. But we need not speak of departures just yet. We have time. The road is clear. And I, for one, could use a bloody drink. We'll join your camp tonight, if you'll have us. By all the watching gods! That's Halsin! He'll have some hard words for Korga, I expect. Go, speak to him. You're the reason he has a grove to return to at all. We'll be here when you're ready to travel. Alright, and that is those complete. And now we can celebrate our victory Run by going back. to a long rest. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. Alright, and that looks to me like the Save the Refugees quest is complete. You can go ahead and end the night. Buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. You've picked up a few pleasant memories on your journey amongst your struggles. You sleep alone. Uplifted by memories of your recent triumphs. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but... It's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. 
to Moonrise Towers then. May the sun and stars guide us. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. You're half right. You have to get to Moonrise, but you still have a choice of how to get there. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. You'll need to pick it up where Aradin left off. Find the hidden entrance. It's somewhere in the Temple of Saluna. You may reconsider once you see the effects of the curse for yourself. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. May Sylvanus guide us. And that is Save the Refugees Complete. Let's see if we can find it completed here. Yep, right here. The road is finally safe. And the tieflings have left for Baldur's Gate. And now I'm going to make my way to the Underdark to do the Underdark. So let's go ahead and go down in. I'm going to go through the Goblin Camp and the Priestess Gut Door. There's several ways you can get down into the Underdark. You can go through the Xantrum Hideout. You can go through a big hole, feather falling near the big spider boss. And then also you can get in by, there's an area in Ethel's area that you can jump down into. Something over there. There's probably other ways to get there too. I'm just not thinking of them. But basically you need to come in here, solve this puzzle. It's really easy. You just need to make all of these empty and all the rest of them full. I'll go ahead and do that. There we go. This goes very far down. And now we can go we'll down through go here. In to see the bottom. And that is how you get into the Underdark. The first place I'm going to go when I went down into the Underdark is up here towards the Mykonid Colony to get a bunch of quests. There's a bunch of them up here in this hub. So I'm going to go through here and blow up these dudes. This should all go away here in a second. Careful. Even the mushrooms down here can't be trusted. You are swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, she has come. She is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose.
You detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. All right, and that's how you unlock the Myconid Colony area. And this is a bunch of quests here, and there's also some waypoints and vendors. The first quest you can get right as you come in, right next to the waypoint, you can speak to Blurg here in the Underdark. No harm in a little conversation. Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg, proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. Or perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Understandable. We are small in number, and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? A common phenomenon in the Underdark, I'm afraid. Could I ask what you were searching for to begin with? You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside her head, but she hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis. That's impossible, but intriguing. Are you looking to have it extracted? Say yeah. Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. As the Meloon's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete. As should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. And even without the shield, the extraction would involve Severe cranial trauma. It is not ideal. The process would surely kill you. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. A nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal, but I have an 
idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh ton of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. The Underdark, of course, although they are quite rare, and their discovery perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. The Southwest, when I last saw her, although her tower does have a tendency to move. She is quite fond of her garden. Lenore has always been a lonely sort. Nature was her only companion. I offered her the chance to join the society, but she refused. Her experiments on Sousa Bark took priority. May your travels be safe and swift. And to continue this one, you just go down to here, down towards the Arcane Tower. And you can find the mushrooms down there, but I'm going to go down there later. And now you can grab a couple quests from Thula and Sovereign Spa. This one is to save the gnomes, and this one is to save the kill the draugr or deal with them. Go ahead and talk to Thula. Don't. Her condition is familiar. Poison, derived from a wild weed common to the Underdark. She'll need an antidote soon, most likely held by the poisoner. Dwego! Slashed me! Oh. <sighs> <coughs> Don't share. Oh, talking hurts. Leave me. Please. <laughs> like dwarves, Dwergar have innate resistance to poison, and thus no need for intricate brews. Though deadly, if left untreated, the poison can be cured by the antidote or natural remedies. Not going anywhere. All right, now we can go talk to Sovereign over here. What's that thing do? Sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you. As the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker. I show you a memory. Watch and listen. A violent vision grips you. Dwega, dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The Sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. The Sovereign's song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. Dwegar killed their children. They should pay the price for the cruelty. An illusion comes over you. 
A Dwergar choking on a cloud of gleaming dust. Accept this gift. It will help you exterminate. The sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot, and they are yours. You do the circle a service. We will await word. We breathe life into our enemy's flesh. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. What more would you ask? Deep purples swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear, chased by Dwegar. The Dwegar seek a gnome. It is a guest. The Sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. All right, and now we can go pick up some more quests. Next up in the Myconid colony, we have Dareth Bonecloak over there, who has the Find the Mushroom Picker quest. She's right here, the vendor. Oh, Glut decided to talk to me. Far you've come. Reach into memory. Tell me of hope. It mourns, moved by your emptiness. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove filled with decaying myconid corpses. Dwega destroyed my people. I am a sovereign with no circle. This circle does not welcome me, but I have heard the song. You mean to cleanse the Dwergar rot. I mean to join you. And that's how you start the Glut, Avenge the Glut's circle side quest. Just sort of walk over near him, I guess. And then talk to Derelith Bonecloak here. Seems the shrooms are letting in more people every day. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. Bald. Blue tunic. Dumb as a stick. Right. Never mind. My useless husband. Sent him for an errand. It's no surprise he's made a mess of it. Knock yourself out. But don't come begging for coin if you find him. You try to ransom him to me. You'll find yourself skint and stuck with a fat old lout. Okay, and now you can go find her husband. And now we can do the Find the Mushroom Picker quest. And to start this one, you can go to the left of the Myconid colony over this way. And find Balin. Just go down these roots here. You'll see a, like a bridge over that way. And then you'll need to walk slowly through here and then save him. But it's going to trigger a cutscene when I step forward. Stop! Stop! People bang! These mushrooms! Toxic! Scroll! Escape! My bag, please! I've dropped it! Somewhere! Thank you! Thank you! 
Alright, and now we can slowly walk through. I recommend just using one character. Just like so. And then pick up this pack right here. And grab these two scrolls of misty stuff. Get out of here! It's My pack! Please! Yes! That's... Yes! I just have to... And then... Here! And that's how he gets to safety. And now I'm gonna take Shadowheart here. I can find it. And please. talk to him, and then I'm gonna go over this ah, way. Right, as uh, what were you saying? I was looking for Delith. She's she'll be worried sick. I must need to go. For you. Your trouble. Ta. And then you can go up here. Can't seem to see. Or wouldn't let me click through the UI element there. Just keep on jumping. There's a ring in the skeleton if you want a nice ring. And we need to go down there and loot the noble stock and then run. So go down however you like. I'll probably just crash. You shouldn't blow up if you crash right there. See, like they're just sort of primed, but they're not popping. Now I'm going to grab this noble stock and then immediately take the waypoint on all my characters. And now we have the noble stock as well, which is another part of the quest. So let's go over this way. Back to uh, turn it in. Absolutely worth Look at that. Got my useless old man back. I suppose that's your doing. His hands are empty as a whole. We'll have to send him back out soon enough. Please. Balin's got a job to do. We can leave when he's done it. Love? <laughs> Never heard of it. Balin's meek now, but he used to be a rotten old bastard. Treated me like an old shoe for 70 years. Losing his mind was the only good he ever did by me. Collecting noble stock. Valuable mushroom. We have a shop in Boulder's Gate. The locals go mad for it. Nearly nothing it can't cure. Blindness, poison, hair loss. Probably. But Balin in his right mind wasn't worth half a half of noble stock. I know him better than anyone. Got the scars to prove it. Might do. But why bother? Thing sells in town for enough to make your eyes bulge. Ah. To no surprise of mine, you're more competent than Balin. Go on then. Hand it over. Sell it. What else? Worth more than its weight in gold to folk back in Baldur's Gate. There ain't much I can't cure. Loads. But I haven't got anything to offer for it. And I'm counting on the shroom for that. Give it or don't. Hmm. You'll have to make a choice on what you want to do here. And I think I am just going to give it to her. Thanking you. <laughs> I'll be on my way then. Look, I do thank you. Come visit me in Baldur's Gate if you find yourself that way. We, I, run a shop called Bone Cloaks. Balin nearly sunk the shop to pay for a drink. When he was of his own mind. 
This might allow me to hang on a little longer. You take care out here. And then you'll get the Gloves of Uninhibited Kashigo. And that is quest complete. And I figured I'd throw in his dialogue. My friend, Bibberbang. Curious. Beautiful. But dangerous. Next time. More careful next time. For certain. Thank you. For your help. Me too. Yes. Very glad. Someone's got to look after Derrick. Anyway, what were you saying? Noble stock. Yes. Derrick needs noble stock. Mushroom. Good stuff. A and the ledge. Yes. I was on a ledge. Crumbled to bits. And I tumbled down. The shop. The shop needs all we find. Bone cloaks. Baldur's Gate. Anything from... Anything sourced here. Very high rate of profit. Mushroom. Powerful. Dirith wants it for a brew. She's very good, my Dirith. Very good at a brew. Next up we have finished the masterwork weapon, and you can do this one near the Mykonid colony over here by this big susser tree. You can see the bark right there, you need to pick this up. And there are some enemies nearby. I'm gonna try to grab it without being noticed. But I don't know if I'll be able to do that. And then once I grab it, I'm just going to try to leave without fighting to save time. Grab it here, and then teleport to the Blighted Village. And then you'll need to pick a base weapon that you want to use. You can use a dagger, a sickle, and a great sword. So pick whichever one you want. I'm just going to use a dagger. Come down into the blacksmith area once again. Go ahead and start the fire. Hit the air thing and then stick the bark right here. It'll turn it blue. Great sword, sickle, or a dagger. Hit the air again. And now we can go ahead and pick one. The roaring furnace awaits an offering. A candy sweet scent wafts forth. The Sousa bark infuses the weapon from within the flames. The flames sputter away. The dagger is yours for the taking. And that's how you do finish the masterwork weapon. And now I'm going to make my way back to the Selenite outpost and go here to pick up the Adamantine Forge quest. You can start it a number of ways. I'm just going to start it this way. And then after I do this, I'm going to head over to the Arcane Tower for the other quest. Once you come to the Selenite Outpost, go out this open window and then climb down these roots here. And then once you're where I'm at, you can make your way this way and there will be a cutscene. Alright, now go ahead and kill the boss, and then I'll see you on the other side. And then once you defeat the spectator, Dorn will come over and talk to you. So that's progress. <coughs> Dust on my tongue! <coughs> I offer to parlay, and he brings a spectator! Squit! 
quite ruined my ambush. Now, you are? Ha! A rival. A mere footnote to my legend. You should be more concerned with who I am. I am Dawn, third son of House Bartol, first rank evoker, and initiate of Graven Hollows. Oh. Oh, no, no, my dear dark gods below, no! A memory shard. They hold their glow for years. And it's fading. It contains knowledge that is precious to me. If it has grown this dull, then my enemies have already found the forge. Which bastard stole my glory? Zagrim? Philro? Impossible! The master of the Adamantine Forge would be known and feared throughout the Underdark. Unless... Huh. The fools must have turned back, or, better yet, died in the search. Good. If they had just surrendered their research to me, we might have found the forge together. But no. They hoarded their knowledge, left each of us clinging to scraps. I had the good sense to lock mine away in the shard. And now I can claim the forge alone. Bold of you to ask. The others knew of the Forge's defenses, its operation, but I know where to find it. The rest I can figure out with time. Now I am the only one searching. Or... almost the only one. You proved your power in freeing me, but I need no more rivals. Try to take this as a compliment, yes? Alright, and then he'll betray you. So you can just attack him if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and just kill him. Alright, and then once he's dead, you can just loot his body. And you'll find the memory shard here, as well as some other items. Here's Icy Helve. This goes to a very rare, a very rare staff weapon that you can make. The other piece is over by the Susser tree, over that way. And then I'll go ahead and read this. The crystal shines only faintly. A memory shard, the wizard had called it. The crystal's glow swells, drawing you into its depths. You are transported somewhere deep, loud, and hot as the hells themselves. Within the Underdark's bowels, beyond an ancient stronghold, hovers a giant hammer, waiting to fall. An echoing clang, and you're back to yourself. Left only with a firm sense of a place, a grand forge. Alright, and now I'm going to go ahead and continue down over towards the Arcane Tower, and go pick up those mushrooms. Now we can go ahead and do the arcane tower and get the mushrooms we need to give back to Omalum. So go ahead and come down here where I am. I just went back to the Selenite outpost, traveled through, and now I'm right here. Up ahead, there will be some enemies. These things here, they're turrets, and they have the medium toughness thing where you need to hit them really hard. So I recommend a two-handed weapon and just smack it. And then once you finish the two, I'm going to make my way up into the arcane tower. And now I need to get inside the arcane tower, and I'm behind it at the moment. So I can either go into gas form and go down this hole, or I can go over here and pick up the magic nullifying thing. One second. This thing right here. And then we can lockpick this door, or away. use gas form and go Must in. Be these flowers.
Once inside, you'll just bring the saucer bloom over to this machine. That might be worth a look. Alright, and now the elevator should work. There is an item right here. Go ahead and go up. And in this room, You'll find all the mushrooms that you need to complete the quest from earlier, so go ahead and grab them. And if you want to, you can explore the rest of the tower. It's got some pretty interesting things about it, but it is not a part of a quest. So I'm going to go ahead and return back to the Myconid colony and turn this in. And here I am back at the Myconid colony. And I'm going to go ahead and turn in those mushrooms to Umalum. Greetings. What? On my main character, not Will. Greetings. What knowledge do you seek? These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Omeluon turns away to prepare the potion, lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire draft. I can make no promises as to its taste. The acidic liquid tightens your throat burning on the way down. It's a bolt of agony straight to your stomach. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, you may find yourself acting irrationally. Try and stay focused. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid. But trapped, like a creature suspended in amber. And you'll have to pass a series of saving throws. Dark holes bite at the edges of your vision. The void cannot draw you in. The tadpole spasms, seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it means to hollow out your skull. The cold blades lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning that tide of fear against itself. The parasite swells with power. More power than you have ever felt before. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. The parasite in your mind quiets, pleased with itself. Omeluan, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is... Unsettling. Um, 
Such an outcome was not in my calculations. There is more to this being than mere stasis. Indeed. Although, I may have another solution, albeit a temporary one. I possess a ring of mind shielding. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava, but it will limit its influence, both positive and negative. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? My research is in perpetual need of funding. Yes, I am willing to accept your coin. And you can buy the Ring of Mind Shielding now if you'd like to. May it serve you as well as it has served me. That thing better work. If it doesn't, I doubt you'll be in any position to complain. Of course, the lava remains. Be ever vigilant of its growth. And that is help Omalum investigate the parasite the complete. And real quickly, I figured I'd mention that you also unlock survival instinct for completing this quest. And now we can begin find the missing boots as well as find the antidote for Thula. You could also just use Lesser Restoration and heal her that way. But come down to here, just right under the Myconid Colony. And then make sure you don't have Glut with you. Sort of just go talk to him as one of your other characters. What's next, I wonder? Because he does not like the Myconids and he'll think that you're being mind controlled. What? Gek! Got someone sneaking up? Too loud, sun scum. Heard you stumbling. Can hear you blinking. Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon I'll hush you before something hungry comes along. His gnarled fist grips an axe. Ah. Uh. I suppose the sound of me cracking your nut would carry down here. But spoil my hunt, and you're dead. Told you, hunting. Slave ran away, took Sergeant Thrin's boots. Gotta kill the slave and fetch back the leather. Or the bosses in Moonrise will have Thrin's hide. Help? You don't even know what you'd be up against. Slave's got herself some protection. Hiding up there in a myconid circle. Can't get past those rock flowers. They get in your head, make you see things. Half my squad jumped off a cliff, laughing. I'll wait here. She'll make a run for it eventually. Then I'll get her. Good. Do well, and there might be a reward for you back at camp. Do really well, and who knows? Maybe the Absolute will have space for you in her ranks. But that comes later. Boots first, then you'll get what's coming to you. Deep Gnome Slave. They all look the same. But this one's got fancy boots. She's with the rest of our expedition across the lake. Special mission for the Absolute. And if you want to, you can kill him, and he'll have an antidote to use on Thula. But I'm not going to kill him. I'm just going to head back and then use Lesser Restoration on her. And here I am back at Thula. I'm going to use this amulet that has Lesser Restoration on it.
Aiden! Eva, I'm finally dead, or you healed me. Why? Down here? Tends to be. <sighs> but I'm nearly good to get on my feet. I thank you for your help, but I've got to get moving. Oh, it hurts. Carl's garters. Oh, I don't have time for this. My kin need me. Seems you're the helping kind. All right. I need you to rescue my kin. Not charity, mind. We can pay. We're Iron Hand Clan. Best artificers in Baldur's Gate. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwergar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. Some dusty temple. It doesn't matter. They'll work my plan to death before they ever get near it. Thank you. Only wish I could go with you. But here. I nabbed these boots from the Greys when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some Dwerger ass. I'll mark where I made my escape and uh, wait here, I suppose. Not much choice, eh? And that is the gnome cured. And I also got the boots for Find the Missing Boots, and we can take those to the Grim Forge, which is where I'm about to head. And now I'm going to make my way over to the Grim Forge, and to do that, just head down to the Underdark Beach, just down this way, back where we encountered Get Coal. And then you can take this boat over to the Grim Forge, just go ahead and talk to the person right here. Get does the talking around here. Bother him. Could have told me that before. Go ahead. And get on the boat. A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. What are you doing on Gex Raft? Where's Gek? Who are you? Well, I'll be. You got them? The sergeant's been whining non-stop. What about Gek? Where's he at? <laughs> More like avoiding the sergeant, I reckon. Come on. Let's get you to shore. You're the one telling the sergeant what happened. The rest of you, keep patrolling. I'll be heading back with this one. You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. Sideways. We've got a welcoming party.
You shithead! Time you showed up! We got trouble! Spit it out! Sergeant finally choked on true soul Nears prick! Drugno! The twat soul caused a rockfall! Trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger! You're shitting me. You pay up? That's the trouble. He's got the gold on him. Sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating. Who's the hoon, Greyman? Another slave for the dig? Aye. He speaks true. Found the hoon sailing Gex skiff. That's so. I... You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwegar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Oh. I'll be. You're one of them cult freaks. Felt the tingle. Your twat soul chum owes us a load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. Unclog your hole. Just shitting around. But I'm warning you. That twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. All right, now we are in the Grim Forge. And now, real quick, before I start doing the Grim Forge stuff, I'm just gonna return back to get Cole and kill him. That way, I can complete the kill the Durgar by the lake quest. And I went ahead and finished killing those Durgar down here at the beach and just teleported back to the Myconid colony, and I'm going to turn in both quests to Glut and Spa. Wretched thing. Pull yourself Greets you together. with a harrowing elegy, cheerless as the new moon. The music shifts, still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you hear a new harmony? Serenity. I name you Peace Bringer. Fragrant spores waft through the air. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely you have given to us. Freely you may take. The Guardian Gate is open. Go and claim your reward. But before this, I have another boon to ask of you. You have cut out the Dwergar Blight, but not its source. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow striding among Myconid dead. Near, this one is called. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head, and I will know my circle is safe. I'm more than happy to kill this... whoever he is, but tell me there's something in it for us. The drow lurks in the ruins beyond the lake. Bring him death. And return. Alright, and now we can go over and talk to Glut. Best be on. It is time. We take death to the Dwegar. I must see it for myself. Lead me to the rot. I wish to see it faster. And you might already have had Glut in your party, but then you need to take him to the beach so he can see the body. You could have done this before if you so choose, I just didn't do it. The fanfare is sung. The rot 
is cleansed. Come, the tumor is excised. Dwega are dead. Here I break ground. From the dark will a mighty circle rise. My song will fill the grotto. Death doer. The grotto may sustain but one sovereign. In the age of glut, there may be no spore. Eliminate the other sovereign. I think I'm gonna go ahead and side with glut and kill Spa. A fate it has earned. My circle long suffered while the Dwerga flourished. I sang to Spa for help, yet it cowered in the grotto and let my people be slaughtered. Choose, smooth mind. Help me grow a mighty circle and reap the reward. Or protect the precious poltroon as it waits for the circle of glut to devour it whole. Let's go ahead and kill him if you want to, or you can side with Spa. I'm gonna go ahead and kill him. Come then. Bring me to Spa, and I will sing its doom. The age of glut begins. And I'm gonna make my way back to the Myconid colony. The easiest way to kill Spa is to just knock him back off the cliff, but you will lose the ability to loot him, so I'm just going to go ahead and attack. Peace bringer, be at home. King of kings I am. Let this place be sacred. Circle glut takes root. My spawn will rise and sing of your might. You will be called King Bringer. Take my gift of song. Cry it low aloud. But cry it proud, Kingbringer. So it is certain, and so you are known. Spore's old song falters in the Myconids' minds, swallowed by a new rhythm. The song of glut. You have served well, Kingbringer. But our work is not done. War was a coward, but in one thing it was correct. The drow near must die. Bring me his head, a coronation gift. I'm starting to feel less a protector of the people and more an errand boy. You have my favor, Kingbringer. But yes, there will be riches as well. Go! Cross the lake and kill the drow. Alright, and that gives us winner's clutches. And I figured I'd show you the loot for the completing the spa quest. Just come back over this way. Loot this corpse. 
this will give you a lead on the forge. The cover proudly announces this book to be Flumph Mating Rituals. scrutiny proves too much, the lurid text melts away before your eyes. An illusion. What remains are simple instructions written in a spare hand. The secret to forging adamantine. And you can go ahead and loot all that, and then you will find other stuff in here, like the shadow of Menzo Berenzen. And now we can do the free True Soul Near quest, or at least start it. And you can start it right here, just after you enter the Grim Forge. Just go ahead and talk to Elder Brithvar. Seen her run with a barrel under her arm. Just a small one. But enough to blow the drow out. Someone should grab it. Slaves are never gonna manage with pickaxes. Can't go chasing maybes. The sergeants are ticket in. Oh, would you look at that, Kerr? Someone's having a listen. A shiver runs through you. Your mind is awash with ancient resentments. True soul, no less. What do you think, Kerr? Should we take Nia's debt off him? Yet you got that twat soul stench. If I didn't know better, I'd say a mind flayer shat a worm in your brain. Should split your head open and poke around in there if you lot don't pay up. The shiver returns. This time it's colder, sharper. The stench don't lie. You're one of them. Could be you're right. Something's different with you. In that case, want to earn some gold? Thrins after the absolute glory. That's why she's got those slaves digging for Nia. But we ain't need glory, just coin. And Nia's got plenty. Help Thrin free Nia. Then you and my chums grind him up. Whatever the spoils, we'll drop you a fat cut. You in. Half. You drugnin. Fine. Half it is. But first, we need to take care of something. You've seen that weird orb I floating about? Knife it. And don't get caught. The cult watches through it. And we can't risk more twat souls showing up. You still standing about? Get on it. Some days back, a slave gnome bolted with smoke powder. Handy stuff. Her crew know more than they're letting on. See if you can get them to talk. Now move. You're hogging my air. All right, and then now you can go ahead and kill the scrying eye. I don't really need to do a walkthrough for that. Just wait till it goes into a hidden area and attack it. Now that the eye is dead, we can go ahead and talk to the Sergeant Thryn here and turn in and find the missing boots. Seems like a good moment to talk. What now? Never thought I'd see these back. Nasty sneak gave even Gek the slip. <sighs> Crafty little shits, these ones. You need a stiff cane to keep them in line. Here then. 
His bounty's yours. Now move! I've got no time for- The parasite stirs, but it's a mere tickle. You hear no thoughts or memories, just an echo of scars that never healed. A true soul, eh? Useless wreck of a lookout could have told me. Glad you're here to take responsibility. Tunnels collapsed. Trapped true soul near. He's stuck in there with poisoned geezers. We don't get him out soon. It's both our heads. No need for that. Nias is the only head that matters to us. Place is older than bone dust. Previous tenants left a trap. Dropped a shit ton of metal once we dug a ways in. Get near out, and you'll have the Absolute's blessing. No doubting that. Entrance to an ancient temple. General's orders, Nier said. Must contain something important. He got me to recruit non-believers. But not everyone's seeing the Absolute's truth. They don't get paid soon. I'll have a riot on my hands. Not a one. Unless you count tacking Abolith fangs to my whipping cane. Thought you would. True souls don't abandon their own. And then you'll get the reward Armor of Uninhibited Kashigo, as well as the Bracing Band. But then you'll lose the boots. You just have to pick one of these, by the way. And now you can head up north, up this way. And we're going to have these Roth here clear this cave in. And to do that, you'll need to use a source of speak with animals and then talk to Herdmaster Scarjall there, or Scaryall, however that's said. You, grab a cane and whip these Drugnin beasts into shape. That rubble needs clearing. And my patience is hanging on by an arse whisker. Damn right I do. Getting cramps in my arm trying to whip the Drugnin beasts back to work. Now get to the caning, for I thrash you instead. You got no need to know, and I got no need to tell. So get to caning or to leaving. Fine. Look at this. Adamantine. Stuff's no joke. Stronger than steel, rarer than mithril. It ain't mined. It's made. There's an adamantine forge back there, sure as shitting. Don't get any smart ideas. That forge is clan property. But get the beasts moving and I'll toss some coin your way. Go on then, light a fire under the buggers. And now go ahead and talk to the Roth. We know everything no goes. more. No more pain, no more work. All must die. I'm gonna have them just strike the masters. Yes, they, they made, made the, the pain. pain. Now they feed. And they'll help you do this little fight, and I'll go ahead and skip the fight. And now that the guys are killed, we can go ahead and have them clear the rubble for us. Dwergar can't hurt anymore. We'll wait until it's safe to leave. You helped me. I help you. And now that the rubble is cleared, I just wanted to show you the area where you can get the longsword mold for the adamantine forge. And the shield mold is inside of here, in the back over this way. So go back there and get that one if you want it. And then I want to go over this way and do another optional little side quest that you don't really have to do, but I wanted to show it to you. And then you can head over this way, up towards the top right. 
all I did to get here was go up that ladder on the other side of that little lift thing and then used feather fall, jumped over here, fought some enemies, and then made my way up through. And now I'm here. And then up ahead is going to be a gnome. Hold it! I swear to Iron Hand. One more step, and a blow is to chunks! An ashen scent fills the air. The barrel is filled with smoke powder. Easy now. Let's not do anything hilarious. Shut your mouth, Hoon! Or I'll shut you down. What's to say? Your near's boot licker. Saw you sailing. A god's damn true soul. Better to die in this shit eat than rotting moonrise. You want me? Come get me. Not a true soul. And I'm... I'm supposed to believe that. Shit. I can't do it. Go on. Drag me to Moonrise. I'll make you cult nutters suffer. Well, aren't you sweet? I'm not stupid, you know. No such thing in Grimforge as kind hearts. Spit out what you want, and let's be done with it. Then prove it, and leave. I go where there's shit to stir, and there's no shortage of options. I'm getting gone. You ought to do the same. And you can actually steal that from her, if you want to. But that is how you complete that part of Save the Gnomes. Let me go down to here. We found her. And now we gotta go ahead and help free the other ones from the rubble that are alongside near. So we can head back down that way. And to get the explosives you need to clear the rubble, just go back to the waypoint here in the Grim Forge. And then make your way over this way. Go ahead and go through the metal door. Come back here, and you'll need to pass a perception check, I believe. Yep. Something over there. There it is, there's the button. And back in here, you'll find two smoke powder satchels. You'll need these to clear the rubble. And now I'm going to make my way back over. And now that we have the charges to blow the rebel, we can come back and blow it up. Go ahead and talk to this lady. Appeal your balls like potatoes. Yes, true soul. That's so. Set it near the rubble and ignite it. That'll blow the drow out. And you'll probably need to use both, but I recommend only using one at a time, because whenever I use both at a time, it doesn't seem to work. Go ahead and use the source of fire. Finally! Worthless slaves! Your incompetence has been my ruin! Nay, does not fail. You care for the weak true soul. 
Most curious. You heed an overgrown toadstool, yet defy a true soul. Thryn, carve out his heart and serve it to the Rothe. If he indeed is a true soul, let the Absolute save him. Damn right it's time. You owe my crew a ten days' worth of coin near, and the reckoning's come. You bargained with this wretch. How vexing. Near is not without mercy, true soul. The rat has given you a chance to earn my favor. Strike him down. Prove your faith. And I'm going to go ahead and side with Brithbar and the Rebels. Heretics. Let Nir be your end. Go ahead and do this fight, and I'll see you on the other side. And then once they're all defeated, they'll come out. Let me turn this aura off real quick. Shindilrin's shithouse. You see it. Cockstench had a regular in his skull. All the more reason to clear out. Here's your cut. Extra too, like I promised. Clan, grab your gear, wipe your asses. Time I scrammed before more pricks from Moonrise Towers move in. Clan property. They come with us. Speak up, Chief. You can't just let the clan keep them. Hmm. You got a point. Likely to be all hobbled up, what with the lashings. Gnome pricks! You're off the hook! Scram before I get my senses! Your brain going mushy, Jar. That's where those absolute freaks hold up. Goblins, drow, gnolls, even humans. Ain't no one they won't try to turn. The way I hear tell, some prick there calls the shots. The general near called him. And there ain't no way I'm sticking around long enough to meet him. <laughs> Please, we catch your scent. You'll get sliced before you can bat your left eye. Now lug your ass someplace else. I got to get cracking. All right. And that is the quest here complete. Let me see which ones I got going on. Talk to the deep gnomes and then take Nier's head to take back to Glut. Beldron, I was so worried. Did Nier hurt you? No, no, I'm all right. Did the sergeant hurt you? Oh, who cares? We're together now, thank Iron Hand. <laughs> we ought to thank someone a little closer by, I think. Gadel Iron Hand, you may not be, but you damn well fight like him. I'm grateful, don't mistake me, but why help us? You're one of them, aren't you? Littering gods. I should have known that one was too damn stubborn to die. Here. The Iron Hand gnomes honor their debts. With Walburn gone, that falls to me. Make it quick. We need to find Walburn. Now. You're a little late, Barkus, my lad. He's already been sent to Moonrise Towers. We were just slave hands to the cult, but not Walburn. He knows things. Things they want to know, too. What has he gotten himself mixed up in now?
You'll call me mad, but fine. Waldron's found the formula for rune powder. What? I, the explosive of Gerdel Iron Hand's own creation. Fistfuls, wiping out armies. All those old stories. Only Walbrun couldn't leave the stories be, so he went and bloody found it. A small supply tucked away down here with a manuscript. He just made sense of the formula when the cult jumped us, so he burned the damn thing. If there's a single copy left, it's sitting in his head. Those absolutists pull it out and make rune powder, they could flatten the whole of the Sword Coast. You really would, wouldn't you? But not us. My people can barely stand, and we have business back in the city. <sighs> that business is what sent us after the powder to begin with. Now, we'll have to make other arrangements. And just like that, you'd leave Walbrin behind. I knew you lot were foolish, but I didn't know you were cruel. If you knew, Half as much as you think, my lad. Wolburn might have kept you around. <laughs> He'd admire your resolve and your optimism. My people will find somewhere to regroup across the lake. Then, on to the city. If you find yourself in Baldur's Gate, seek us out. We'll... Raise a glass to Wolbrun together. And that is the gnome saved. And the other thing left to do is loot the head. Let's go ahead and do that. The decaying corpse lies before you. breaks off cleanly from the drow's body. He did this to you. And there's Nier's head. And then we can take Nier's head back to Glut. Back at the Myconid colony. Friend. And now I'm back at Same Glut to turn in Nier's head. Let us start a conversation. Circle Glut is eternal. As commanded, a capable servant you have made, Kingbringer. You have earned my favor. Once I sang to you of home. Look now on Glut's domain. And tell me what you see. You have received your payment. Now go. This circle sings only the song of Glut. You are Discord. And now we have a reward, the Champion's Chain. And I think you get something else for giving something to Spa. Or giving Nier's head to Spa rather than Glut. And now I am back in the Grim Forge, and I'm going to go ahead and go do the Adamantine Forge quest. To get up here, just go down over this way, jump across to here, then head up this way. There is a scimitar mold right here on this body. And then I'm just going to use Misty Step. Make my way over to this mold. And then you can go get the waypoint over here. And then bring the rest of your guys over that way.
And now you can pick up the mace mold here. And then there's going to be a fight here. I'm going to go ahead and do it and then skip past. Then once they're defeated, you can loot the scale mail mold right here. And then I'm going to do a long rest because I need one and do a level up here. So I'll go ahead and skip past all that. And I am rested up and leveled up and I'm going to go ahead and continue. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to get both pieces of mithril. And then we're going to head down over to the forge. So here's the first one. You'll need a source of bludgeoning damage to break that free. So bring that. That's curious. And there's the first mithril ore. Now I'm going to teleport back up. Now I need to go down here and get this mithril over here. And there will be a fight right here with a bunch of lava methods. They do fire damage and they explode when you kill them. And I'm going to go ahead and skip past the fight and show you the mithril. And now that the lava methods are defeated, we can go over here to the mithril and break it free. And then we can go over to the main forge and make our weapon after we do a boss fight. And now you'll have to make a choice between which mold you want to use. And I'll go ahead and stick something on screen with all the items so you can see which one you want. And then once you've made your choice, I chose the armor the heavy armor, stick it in the mold chamber here, and then stick your mithril in the crucible. And now we can go over here to the lever, and then we'll have to do a boss fight. your way over this that way trick all right. and then pull this and lava valve here down. And now you'll need to do the boss fight against Grim here. He drops a cool helmet. And also, just as a tip, the lava valve is what gives him this superheated buff. And this is what makes it to where he can be harmed easily. And then go over to the lever and lure him to the center of the room and you can smash him with the hammer if you want to. But now that the room is full of lava, that's how you create your item as well by smashing the hammer. And I'll go ahead and skip to the part where I'm smashing him with the hammer. Alright, now he's in position to get bonked by the hammer, so I'm going to go ahead and smack him. And I accidentally killed Shadowheart. Whoops. And you can pick up your item right here. Here's the one that I chose. And loot the boss, because he also has some items right here. And now I'm going to make my way to the mountain pass here in the top left of the map, now that everything is complete. And I'm going to bring Lizelle along with me when I go, 
because she has some unique dialogue with the quest. The quest is to get a Githy Yankee egg, and then you can continue that quest in Act 3 after you do it up here. There are a couple quests you can get in the Mountain Pass. The first one is the Githy Yankee egg quest. You get it from Lady Esther here, and you can come by the Trielta Crags, and that's how you find her. And the other one is the Blood of Lothander, which is way up here in Kreshulek, and that's later on, so we'll go ahead and do that one later. Stop there! Not one step further! I left your stupid crash while you're still chasing me. I don't even want your bloody eggs! Well, not your eggs specifically, any gith egg. You're not from that crash, are you? Oh, how fortuitous! And not just because you're not trying to kill me. I was hoping to meet a friendly gith, actually. <laughs> I was given a task. One surprisingly difficult for someone like me. And yet it would be simplicity itself for you. I need a gift Yankee egg, which may sound a little unsavory, but I swear, this is all for an excellent cause. The best cause there is. Knowledge! Inside that temple lies one of your creches, which I gather has its very own hatchery, presumably chock full of eggs. The Society of Brilliance have asked me to acquire one of your people's rows so they can incubate it, and once it hatches, raise it in their tradition. They believe a gith Yankee raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. Bring me an egg I can deliver to the society, and you will be well rewarded. So, what do you say? Sounds good. I see this being a highly prosperous partnership. A word of advice. Avoid direct confrontation. Crash-bound Gith Yankee can be a deadly sort. And now we need to make our way over to the Rosie Morn Monastery up this way and continue our quest. Next up I want to grab the Dawn Master's Crest for the Blood of Lothander weapon. It's actually optional, you can just grab the weapon and run out, but I'm going to go ahead and grab the crest for completion's sake. In the area there are ceremonial weapons that you place on each of these pedestals to unlock this. And it takes a minute, so I'm just going to do lock picking. It's a 30 DC, so be ready to do that. And there it is. Go ahead and grab the Dawn Master's Crest out of here. And if you want to know where the ceremonial weapons are, I already did them in my all legendary weapons video, as well as all equipment for Act 1, or Act 2 rather, so go ahead and go there. And I'm going to go ahead and make my way into Kreshulek and continue. Next up we have the Githyanki Egg Quest. And you can do this one by going into Kreshulek and making your way over to the left. Entirely I'm going to use Astral Knowledge with Charisma so she can persuade him. You can tell Kithrak Therizin that my position has not changed. The egg requires more time. Furthermore... Oh. You are not from Kreshulek. What are you doing here? Almost all of the eggs in this clutch have hatched. We await only one more. Which is... taking its time. Most caretakers would not give the child its fair chance, but I shall. There could be greatness in that shell. You note that the hope in his voice is tinged with weariness. It's the voice of a man who's fought the inevitable for a long time. Not all that arrive late are weak. I created this entire hatchery, despite being the last of my clutch to hatch. 
They almost drowned me in the hatching pool. If it wasn't for the Vash of my clutch. This one deserves the same chance. You? You've no Vash instincts about you at all. Still, the captain's due for an inspection any day now. And if she sees it here... Tell me, what will you do with it if I entrust it to you? Not an easy task, and far harder without a crèche to train it in. But you've a spirit about you that's quite inspiring. Perhaps even equal to the challenge. I can no longer ignore that Kithrak Thurizen's patience has its limits. Very well. Here. Take these. They will aid your approach to the egg. And you can wear those boots to get acid resistance. Entirely too empty. I'd expect to see 15 eggs at the very fine Gith Yankee egg. At least on the outside. You can see a vague outline of something within it. The egg is warm to the touch, the rough shell like slate beneath your fingers. Whatever is within is stirring ever so slightly. And now we have the egg and cannot continue this quest until Act 3. Now we can go up and do the Blood of Lothander. Next up we have the Blood of Lothander Legendary Weapon Quest, and you can start it by coming up to the very top of Kreshulek. And then just go ahead and smack the statue. That will break it free, and then you can turn it facing that way. And then turn this one. And have it face the opposite. Curious. What secrets might this door be hiding? Go ahead and head down in here. And go ahead and break the crystals that you see in the area. And now we can go up here and we can use the Dawn Master's Crest that we looted earlier. Go ahead and place the Dawn Master's Crest right here. And that brings me to the end of the video. If you liked it, leave it a like. Consider subscribing for more guides to come, and I'll see you in the next one.